what's going on everyone we're going to take a look at tesla what we're going to do here is kind of go over some supply and demand levels um with that kind of being said you know not the best price action right so you know right off the open we kind of had that initial spike on the first five minute candle and then we pretty much pulled back all the way you know for at least an hour right so as we pulled back on tesla I kind of marked out the day's low 189.94 kind of held the pre-market lows right so pre-market lows is sitting at 189.13 that's the level you know your short level what you would like to see if if the market is going to roll over and you're looking for a short position you would like to see it break down below 189.94 and then ultimately get below 189.13 and that would kind of be your second entry to kind of you know take the short through the low of day um, we've got pre-market high sitting at around 195.32. So that's kind of the area of uh, battle right now. So the point of control right around that pre-market high is where we're currently sitting at. If you kind of look at what we did after we put in the day's low, we kind of recovered a little bit for about an hour. And then we've essentially been going sideways for the past three hours. You know, I've almost fallen asleep two or three times. You know, not the best price action. So you have to kind of look at it like this if we have not yet taken out the day's highs we can't really hold those pre-market highs but yet we didn't take out the day's low and we're and we're still above pre-market lows it's very very hard action to kind of get you know get your feet set in the ground so you know essentially what you would be looking at is a break and hold over this pre-market high which we're trying to do right now over this 130 uh 195 32 the next area that you would try to be targeting right now would be 198 if, if you are an intraday day trader for all of you investors or longer term uh, holders on Tesla kind of just hang tight right you know the day is not really uh, giving you that much of an indication where you need to you know sell all of your position because the market's going lower and it's not really giving you any kind of confirmation that we're going to actually push higher today. Um, what i would be looking at is the breakout over 198.17 that would be a, a better play if you have a high risk appetite then maybe you can take this kind of wick here over 195.85 which is going to be kind of the first area in time where we're trying to build over pre-market highs that's a sneaky area because you're going to run into a lot of resistance here at around 196 and a half so as we're pushing up here i really don't have any interest in it um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of drop this video so all of you guys can kind of watch it uh, and then play accordingly. But, you know, if we kind of take out this this area here and then we put in a new high and then we kind of back test as long as we hold 195.32, your next price target is 198. Make sure to lock up profits there. Last thing you want to do is get into that 197, 198 and then have it roll over on you. So just kind of make sure you're taking your profits again. If the market's going to kind of yank today, 193.34, this base that we kind of built here for the last two or three hours, you know, anything below that potentially has room to kind of test 191s, which is going to be closer to the day's low and the pre-market low at 189. So just kind of keep your eyes on that as, as we kind of truck along here. There's not that much time left in the market. We've only got about two hours of the market open uh, before we kind of, you know, close, right, for the day. So again, not the best price action. Maybe you made some money. Maybe you got chopped up today. Maybe you lost a little bit. You know, uh, you know, don't beat yourself up. These days are going to happen. It's not the end of the world that you couldn't really, if you if you couldn't really, you know, get that short position off the open or try to catch this reversal bounce right above that pre market low. You know, as we're taking out this level here, you know, again, look for 196 and a half to kind of get snagged up on. If you're a scalper, take some profits into this area here. Just kind of giving you guys my thoughts and rundowns. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Quick little video here, just as I'm watching some of these charts, gonna be going over some technical analysis. If you would like to trade with me, make sure to join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below, and I will catch you guys all later.